last three seasons here at Mestaya. Being called up to the first squad because of the suspension to Alvaro Arbeloa. Sergio Ramos didn't even make the squad. Then Mourinho confirmed that wasn't because he dropped the trophy. Well, that's amazing, isn't it? I mean, the true galaxy. Just it's amazing what catches people's attention. It would have been really embarrassing if it had to be Casillas or the doctors. <laughs> what Mourinho can make, isn't it, that you can bring in uh, Iguain and you, you can bring in Benzema. I mean, two strikers who have scored a lot of goals from this year. I know Benzema has been under a lot of trouble, a lot of pressure. Camp now, earlier this season in La Liga, the hands of Barcelona. That he did pick up that yellow card booking in the last Champions League game. It's the Banco Nero with a fine ball over the top. Go. Nowhere near paying back that sum. It's the Real number eight who's been very disappointing since that move from Milan. Yeah, it'd be just the icing on the get up to the kind of form that they expected from him to end the season. He's had a few injuries and I, I don't think he's just right yet. Higuain. To Lasana Diara. Who could have a big part to play in the end. The season for Jose Mourinho, Sammy Kadira, depending on which newspapers you read, could be out until the end of the season after picking up a knock during the Copa del Rey final. It's Teo. In the centre, Higuain calling for it. It's come all the way back to Esteban Granero. Sergio Canales then with the follow-up. It deflects off Tarpal. It's another corner. Madrid had players forward for that attack. Ozil and Pepe. Here's the situation here as the ball breaks all the way through. I mean, I think the most surprised man it in. Looking for the head of Ricardo Carvalho. Mateo does well. Well won by. It's a tackle by Eva Benega. Another corner for Madrid then. It's San Granero. Pablo is just trying to feed the ball through. Back of three straight victories. After she spent three seasons with Valencia, La Sana Diara to Granero. Maduro was once he looked him out the counter attack. It's a poor one as the ball's given away to Esteban Granero. Flex it as far as Maduro. Scrappy stuff so far, really, here. As Esteban Granero knocks it back into. Real Albiol. Well, you'd imagine it takes Real Madrid longer to gel. I mean, there's so many. I mean, Valencia really haven't gotten going, and they haven't. <laughs> the debut for Real Madrid knocks it to Lasana de Carvalho. Solid in defence. And it's Excel. Well, Valencia were caught very narrow there. Matea had gone into the middle, but. Real Madrid didn't realise it. Good work by Esteban Granero. Since they've been on the brink of administration. The, the last one. Sana Diara. That's it though, as, as far as Maduro. Ball from Diara to find Gonzalo Higuain. Trying to find Karim Benzema. He must score. And he... So dangerous in attack with Benzema and Higuain with Kaka as well from behind. And let's not forget it was the Sana Diara who won the ball and fed the ball then through to Gonzalo Higuain. Well, that was the problem that I was talking about with Valencia. They had become very narrow, Dan. They were allowing a lot of room on the outsides. It became very easy for Casillas just to cut it out. Sana Diara. Five points. We play later on today. Nice challenge by Albiol and then good work by Diara. Oh, his clearance. Zimmer. Stankovicius with an important touch. We've seen very little of Mato so far as say Pablo Hernandez. <laughs> Key clearances, that'll build up his confidence. Eva Benega. One for the future. They have to play catch-up, they're pushing players up forward and you can expect a lot more room behind them because even when the score was nil-nil, Valencia were still pushing the players forward, but now that they have to go chasing goals to Jose Mourinho, you look at this Valencia defence, it's first choice, it's solid, it's stood well this season, but 
looks just look complete. Sana Diara. Emery's just switched things here. Pablo Hernandez coming to play on the near side. With Juan Mata now out on the right, just looking to a little bit of spark to this Valencia attack, which has been extremely brought down, but the referee says no penalty. Well, the referee was right on and he was very decisive about it. Thoughts that maybe Real Madrid will be suffering from a hangover after celebrating that cup success. Certainly being put to bed here in the opening fourth. Ruthless in front of goal. Well, Marine just sitting back there saying, oh, my options just keep growing. More than happy just to move it up the field to Karim Benzema. What a game he's having. A lovely touch there that finds Esteban Granero. And now it's Ricardo Kaká finds himself in space. Kaká looking to repay the favour. He... And he puts a team out today that you would look at on paper and say... Vincent just stayed down after the challenge from Stankovicius. I think you're hitting the, the Real Madrid are just winning everything so easy in midfield. It's Gonzalo Higuain.